Welcome to our channel guys. I'm gonna share how I went from 350 points to 500 in solo rank. Offlane Vaxia is really good right now. Heck counter is 70% in today's meta. The meta today is high sustain like Yuzhong, Esmeralda, Alice and Sylvana. If not offlane, he can be the main tank as well, depending on your team and enemy lineup. I'm gonna teach you how to use Baxia Asan offlane, and also the pros and cons of this. And also on how to rotate, proper item build and emblems. The battle starts in the draft picks. Analyze who's gonna be in your opposite lane and build the proper items against it. In this, almost all of the enemy lineup is magical damage except for 1-1. One, one. Learning how to build items is also important. Welcome For our emblem is Tank Emblem Legend. with Tenacity, with HP, and 10% cooldown. Concussive Blast is Five also seconds. good but I prefer Tenacity because off me playstyle. For spells Vengeance and Revitalize are top choices. Now always go to this route to prevent enemy cutting your lane. If your bot lane do this also. The disadvantage of an offlane Baxia is your below average wave clear, so play safe early. I always hide on the bush first and see who's my enemy is, then if they reveal themselves, so do I. Now, your main job as an offlane backstair is to hold lock your lane. Try to always see or harass your opposition. Now if they to be one you on your lane this can be an advantage to your allies. Just try and play safe even if it's hard. Baxia is tough enough because of his passive. If you build right he can last long in a to be one situation. Now I'll show why offlane Baxia is good. My words One of the pros is you can get back fast in your Lanusing skill one. Approximately that's just 10 seconds from base to third tower. If you timed it right you can still keep up to the creep wave, not losing X or gold. Just try to safely harass our opposition, Baxia can't farm fast anyway so just try to make it difficult for the opponent. Another pro of offlane Baxia is its ganking. When your lane is cleared always rotate to the other lanes. Most offlaners don't rotate, or very slow to respond. Offlane Baxia doesn't have this weakness. Because of your skill one just roll out and gank, then return to your lane as soon as possible. Another pro of Baxia is it's very hard to kill him in 1v1, especially with tenacity. Even you draw, Pikido, Esmeralda and Chu. The Mita fighters can handle them well. In this situation I am still getting to V1, just power hug for the moment and give your ally space. Alice even cut lane. Now notice Alice went very deep. In my ally Kadita marked Alice, as off lane Baxia be very aware in this situation to help gang. Whoa, did they know how tough Baxia is? As I mentioned earlier, your job as an offlane Baxia is show your lane, then gank, then return in lane. It's pretty boring but trust me, being solo this method is very effective. You have to understand, do not expect to be helped by teammates as a solo player, instead do the opposite. You should be the one helping to gank rotating, and if that's not possible, hold lane and just tower hug. The only difficult part of Baxia is landing your skill shots and fully utilizing it. In this part I purposely hit creep wave first in the heroin order to wave clear with low cooldown. Being to v1 is giving your ally space as I mentioned earlier, it's a 4v3 in favor to your team. And look, we took turtle. Ally signal to attack, use skill 1 and respond. I'm confident it's a 4v5 situation because my lane opponent, Guinevere, is locked in top lane. Because my two opponents in top uses magic damage, tough boots and cursed helmet are my builds. But Baxia's main core item is dominant ice, a physical defense item. I will adjust and buy it later mid-game. Dominant ice is good because it gives you mono. 
Cooldown physical defense and additional move speed and slow effect. It really slows your target down when used in conjunction with their skills. It helps you land your skill to easier if you're close enough. Finally, they're ganking my lane. Always pay attention to their signal. Now I'll show you a tip, this is the roller defense. Just stay close to your core in this form, if anything touches your core they will be stunned. This is the balance build, first helmet for magic defense, dominant ice for slow, armor and mana, queen's wings for pure damage reduction. Another backseat tip is calculate your skill one distance, walk first and calculate the length. So that at the end duration of your skill 1, you can still stun somebody. You can zone to with Baxia. And separating their damage dealer to my allies. And look, I forced her to use her ultimate. And also Gujin's ultimate. By forcing enemy team to use all their skills you can indirectly help your allies. That's why I use tenacity for extra defense. At this point just be alert on the follow-up. Then here this is a sacrificial play in my part. In purposely setting myself in a worse position, forcing somebody to use skills. So the lord of the bot will be uncontested. That's how I play Baxia. By playing same. Gank, rotating. Handling to V1, forcing them to use skills and always responding. Guys, just hit MG again, this time as a solo player. Almost 90% of my game is solo queue, and Baxia is one of my heroes to take to MG again this season. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.